Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Cortec AI. So if you don't know by now, Cortec AI is an AI-based startup and they are hiring for software engineering interns right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you college students that are looking for an internship. Because when you intern at a startup, you get a lot of real-world experience, you get a lot of learning experience, work experience, which you can showcase in your resume. And that will make your resume a whole more stand out -ish. It will make your resume a whole lot better compared to other candidates who don't have any internship experience. So I highly suggest all of you guys that are in college do give this a try and do apply for it. So in this video, we're going to talk about the opportunity in details. We're going to talk about the eligibility and we're going to talk about how do you get your resume shortlisted. So everything that you need is going to be within the video. So make sure that you watch it till the end. And just a quick reminder, guys, that I make daily videos on all of the off-campus opportunities that are out there and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a college student or a fresher looking for a job slash internship, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of the hiring alerts. All right. So coming back to this opening, like I said, they are hiring for software development interns, more specifically in backend. So we'll be talking about the requirements later. But let's get the eligibility out of the way first. So there is a great thing and that is that this is going to be remote, meaning that you can do this internship from anywhere practically, right? So that means the eligibility a whole lot easier because you don't have to relocate anywhere. Plus the pay is really great if you compare it to other startups because they don't pay well or mostly they offer unpaid internship. This is a paid internship and it has a decent stipend as well. Okay. Now as for the eligibility, if you are pursuing a bachelor's or a master's in engineering or any other related field. So related field meaning even if you're not in BTEC but you're in something related to computer science, then you can apply for this. Meaning if you have done BSc or BCA, you are still eligible for this as long as you're actively pursuing it. So the year doesn't matter if you're in your first year, second year, third year, fourth year. It doesn't matter whatever year you are in, you are eligible for this, which is why I said I highly recommend that all of you apply for this, all of you give it a try. And right now they're actively searching through applicants. Okay. It's not just any opening. They are basically actually going through the applicants. They are reviewing applicants and they are active about it. Okay. So I highly suggest all of you guys give it a try. That's pretty much it for the eligibility. All you need is being enrolled in a bachelor's degree. That's pretty much it. Okay. So that is what the bare minimum eligibility criteria is. Now let's move further to the technical requirements. So what do you put in your resume to be able to get shortlisted, right? So like I said, this role is more inclined towards backend development. So you do need backend skills, but talking more in details about the type of skills that you need. So of course, having backend projects in your resume is going to help. So if you have backend projects, then put them in your resume. Apart from that, they are looking for Python developers. So if you've made projects in Python, put them in your resume. You need to have Python in your resume for this. Okay. So if you have used Python as a programming language, you need to showcase that in your resume. If you've made any projects in Python, you need to showcase that in your resume. Apart from that, what I will be doing, I'll be giving you a list of all the keywords that they are looking for that matches with their job description in our videos descriptions. So I'll give a list of all the keywords. What you can do, you can have a look at them and you can add them in your resume. You can even learn an ad, like I mentioned in my other videos, that is a good strategy. Don't put anything in your resume that you know nothing about, but you can learn and then add. So I'll be giving a list of all of the keywords that aligns with their JD, that aligns with their technical requirements, and you can use them in your resume. Okay. So from that list itself, you'll be able to understand what all exactly are they looking for. But in a nutshell, it is backend development, like REST API, API development, and of course, databases, SQL, and apart from that, Python and Python related tech stacks. Again, for details, just have a look at the description box. We'll get a list of all of the active keywords that they are looking for that matches with their JD. Okay. So you can use that to pretty much also make your resume more inclined towards their requirement. You can use that in your resume. And of course, apart from that, you need to make sure that your resume has a good template. You need to make sure that your resume has a good ATS score. Although for startups or small scale startups, it may not matter that much. But still, of course, you'll be applying for the companies as well. So it is like one time thing. Make sure your resume has a good ATS score and make sure you have a good resume template. So I'll be giving you a template in the description box. You can just use that. It is a really great template. It is very fast friendly. And apart from that, you need to make sure that your ATS score is high. So I'll be giving you a couple of websites where you can check your resumes ATS score as well. Okay. 
So you can use these things in the resume and make your resume more ATS friendly and make your resume more appealing, right? If you use a better template, not only it becomes more pass friendly, it becomes more appealing to the eyes because at the end of the day, any human will also be looking at your resume. So you can do all of these things and you'll have a great chance of getting shortlisted for this. More details about the internship. Like I said, it is going to be remote. It is going to be a six months internship. And those of you who are in final year throughout the time of this internship, you will be getting a chance for a PPO as well, meaning you will be offered a complete role as a backend developer in there itself. And of course, that will also get you a very decent CTC, starting CTC as a fresher. Okay. So you're having a great opportunity here. And even if you're not in your final year, it will give you a ton of work experience. Let me tell you, and that is invaluable in your resume. That is going to be so much, so much important because everywhere recruiters are looking for work experience in the form of any type of professional experience, whether it is open source, whether it is internship experience like this is always going to help your resume be a whole lot better. So again, that's pretty much it. These are the requirements. If you are someone who's eligible, if you're a college student, I highly recommend that you apply to these companies and you keep on applying to these companies so that you get more important things, more good things to fill your resume with. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so that I can bring you guys more content and more videos about all of the off-campus hirings because right now it's a peak time for hiring all the way from September, October, November, December, you'll be seeing a lot of companies hiring, especially for freshers. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe and let's see you in the next video.